Hey guys, Will here. So uh, today I've got two um, viscous, Volvo viscous couplings um, for the Volvo V70 XC and the early model uh, Volvo XC70s that use a viscous coupling and don't use the Haldex system. And one of them is blown and the other one still functions properly. So I'm going to show you how to tell the difference between them. So, on the left, we have the blown viscous coupling, and on the right here, we have the functional viscous coupling. Um, as you can see, if we turn that, it spins, and on this one, if we turn it, it also spins. But, uh, at the same time, if I turn it on the other side, it spins, turn it on the other side, it spins. But, issues arise when I apply a little bit of resistance, see it doesn't spin in either direction. Um, same as if I turn this one. So either direction there's like there's a little bit transferring through, but I can easily overcome that. It literally takes very little effort. Slightest bit of resistance. On this one on the other hand, if I hold it and spin, see in that direction it wants to spin, and if I come back the other way, it wants to spin. And that is how we can tell when it's out. Now, I'm going to bolt them up to the diff and we can see how they behave um, when they're connected in. Uh, so I'll go ahead and do that now. So I've got the diff on and I've got the drive shafts just sitting in there because um, I don't really want to put them in and I have to take them out. It's not too hard, but it is a bit of a hassle. Um, they do rotate. Um, they, uh, well, they did until the shoot just sound rotate each other. There we go. So, as long as they don't pull them out too far, they rotate, keep that pushed in. But, when I rotate this, the input from the drive shaft, or from the tail shaft, sorry, or prop shaft, depending on what you want to call it, there's nothing. There's no movement of either, in either direction of them. But, if I turn one of these, drive shafts, then there's movement of the other one. So there is a, definitely a diff in there. It's definitely, definitely connected and working, but yeah, it just doesn't want to turn. And there we go. Yeah, so that symptoms of a busted Volvo V70 cross country or early model XC70 viscous coupling that has blown. So that's that. And here we have our functional viscous coupling. The only difference in setup is these drive shafts are pushed the whole way in because it's going to go straight back in the car. So if I turn our input, it'll turn these drive shafts the same amount equally. Whereas before, when I turned the input, nothing was getting through. So this is definitely working. Also, if I turn this, we get a little bit back through here. Um, that's also really good. So, this is our functional Volvo V70 cross country or XC70 or 850 all wheel drive or V70 all wheel drive viscous coupling um, on the early model XC70s. There we have it.